In Lightroom, camera profiles are more important than you might think so. And that's because they can actually override settings like exposure, contrast, or even the curves panel. And to show you that, I'm going to use this beautiful sunset photo. I have my clipping protection enabled up here in the histogram. And because this photo could use a bit more contrast, I'm going to drag on the black sliders. But as you can see, blue is starting to creep in, and that means my pixels are turning pure black. But if I change the camera profiles from Adobe Color to something like my Cinestill expired look, you can see that pure black is starting to disappear. And no matter how much I drag on the black slider, I cannot get the image to clip anymore. And while some of you might think that this is a blessing and it's protecting you from clipping your photos, in reality it's a bit different because it works in a similar way to a lifted black point where if I lift this black point over here, no matter how much I drag on my exposure slider or even the black slider, I will not get pure black in my image. And that's not as awesome as it sounds. We're not clipping the photo because the warning indicator is not working, but we're driving all the data into this invisible wall that we created with our lifted black point. And in the meantime, the photo is still clipping because our pixels are not gonna get any darker. And in both cases, we can overcome this lifted black point issue with the mask in which we played with the curse panel once again and dragged on the black point towards the right, making sure the output value remains zero. And this technique coupled with the mask that is covering the entire image is something that I use a lot to re-expand the dynamic range of my photos before posting them online. This way I get more contrast in my final edit while using color response curve to emulate film. And if you don't know what that is, I linked a video somewhere there where I explain my technique for emulating film inside of Lightroom. And since this was just the tip of the iceberg regarding camera profiles, if I see that there's interest in this video, I'm gonna make a full length one talking about all their quirks. So if you want to see that, make sure to share this with a photographer friend.